Hi and welcome to the second part of our Tiddlymap basic series. In this second part I will show you how you can make use of the available space of your browser window by switching into full screen or half screen. So let's have a look how it's done. To go into full screen, just click the full screen button at the bottom right corner and Tiddlymap will automatically stretch the editor to fit your whole screen. Now you have enough space to organize your map and you can move your nodes around just as you please. Now let's add another node that deals with the topic of which drinks to serve. We'll name this one non-alcoholic drinks and hit OK. Now when in full screen, opening a node will not open it in the river but instead display a dialog where you can edit the content. So we just add a list of non-alcoholic drinks now to avoid our guests getting into trouble with the police and hit OK. OK, now let's add another edge here and this time we will use an existing edge type to link this node to which food to serve. And as you can see it has the same style as the edge we drew before. Again, let's create another node and name it which movies to watch. Hit OK. And we can also add a special color to it because this is a critical aspect of every party. Okay, now we move it and make it depend on the invitation list. And any edge type that has already been defined will be shown in the list so we can just select it. Okay, so let's exit the full screen for now. And you can see that the titlers we just created also appear in the story river on the left. Another way of using the available space is going into half screen, which will hide the sidebar but still show the river. Okay, so let's use the space a bit more. And you can see that clicking on nodes will open them in the river. Now let's open the invitation list again and because Sandra suddenly became ill we will cross her out and we will invite Nicole instead and save. Now we exit the half screen and we are done. 